as business owners and as entrepreneurs, we all go through rough patches, right? So I'm going through one. In those moments, when you have your down moments, I'm just not as confident. I'm very confident, no. but I have my days, right? How did you get yourself through those moments? You know, because yeah. I mean, when you share your story, I'm just like, mm. I don't know how, how you made it, Mark, but you made yeah, it, right? Yeah. All oh, those I times. It. Yeah, I, I think low moments stink because for some reason we're not expecting low moments. It's like there's an expectation that every moment should be high. So what I personally do is when I have a lull or a down moment is I don't give it more weight than it just is what it is. A lot of us get low moments and it's like the world's ending when I'm like, did you never expect to have low moments? And talking about life, like my marriage, I mean, I love my wife more than the world, but I'm not naive that we're gonna get in arguments. I'm not naive that there's gonna be some rough patches. But I think when it comes to business and, and maybe even some life moments, is with this expectation that nothing's ever gonna go wrong. And so to answer your question, when I have a low moment, I don't give it more weight than it just is what it is. So when something stinks, I'm like, okay, I don't have an expectation that I should never I, I not experience this. So that's the first thing that I do. I don't give it as much weight as most people do. It is okay. So once I'm in, there's two things I do when I'm experiencing a low moment. The first thing I do is how do I get out of it? Okay. And so I'm thinking, how did I get here? And what can I do to get out? And I start making those action moments to get out of it. But here's the second thing, which I think is more hopefully inspiring is I'm not afraid of the low moments. And what I mean by that is I'm not afraid to process them. Like I realize that feelings are short term. What we do around that could be long term damaging. So it's like, look, I, I just sit and I kind of just have the feeling come in. I process it. I call it standing on a surfboard. I just kind of ride the wave and I know in my heart, this wave's going to end. And so because I know in my heart, the wave's going to end, I don't give the weight more gravity than it is. So I don't try to avoid it. I almost lean into it. Oh, what am I feeling? Let me sit with this. And so by sitting with it and processing it, it allows me actually to move through it quicker. I think the problem that most people have is they try to avoid sitting with it and then it prolongs it. But your body is amazing. Like we can process so much, but it's allowing ourselves to process it. It's like we get an icky feeling. And the first thing we do is how do we get rid of it? First is like, oh, what am I feeling? Are my hands sweating? Is my heart racing? What are my emotions? And so what I've done with it over the years is I go, okay, cool. I just sit with it and I let it do its thing and I let it ride. And I feel like I'm able to get through my low moments because I'm not trying to do everything to get rid of that feeling. Like I do I everything I can just to feel it. I let it do its natural thing. I ride the wave, knowing the wave's gonna go. So I like, you know, I process it and then I let it go. But I think a lot of times we don't do the processing and it drags it out longer than it should be. And so that's your answer to what I do is I process it, I ride the wave, and then I let it go. And, and, and because of that, it allows me to give it less weight. I know that feelings aren't forever. And I think a lot of times that when we feel it, we feel like we're going to feel this for longer than we do. And that, that mindset makes us feel longer than it should. Right. And so, you know, like I do, girl, I got through so much mental health and so much trauma uh, from my childhood. Uh, but I've learned a long time ago that I, I try to give moments less gravity. I'm not unaware that there's going to be waves of feelings. There's going to be waves of emotions. So I think sometimes when you have a feeling, you're like, oh, why me? And part of me is just like, all right, it's here. What do we do? So the first thing I do is process it. And next thing I do is I figure out how do I kind of move to the next? How do I get myself out? So I'm also being proactive at the same time as processing. So it's not one or the other. Did that help at all? <laughs> that, that did. No, that did. Um, I'm a very spiritually grounded person. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my my thing is just going back to my spiritual roots yeah. and sticking to that. And that's very helpful. But at the same time, I'm still a, a human. I'm a person, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and I, I, I like what you said. I think what sometimes I do is that I run through it real quickly yes. and not process it. Yes. And that's probably mm. where I need to slow down and yeah. process it. And I usually don't like to talk about my stuff. Yeah. Like even doing this on social media yeah. is a big deal. But when I was driving and I was thinking, I'm like, you know, if I'm going through this, there's so many other people that are going through yes. this and there's nothing wrong to talk yes. about it out loud, I guess. Yes. So yes, in a way, you are being a therapist today. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I'm not naive that business is just a reflection of life. And I think a lot of people get into business not realizing it literally correlates with the up and downs of life. 
as you know, as well as I do, is that every notary expects business to always grow. And I'm like, yeah. that's not life. Like there's gonna be good months and bad months. And if you're in business long enough, there'll be good years and bad years. And so I'm able to process because I'm kind of emotionally mature enough to understand that business matches life. And so we have a bad week, your business is not going under. If you have a bad month, your business is not going under. If you have a bad year, your business isn't going under. It's just realizing we got to ride the wave. And so I'm going to end with this, D. You know, I'm a big believer that events or memories can either be an asset or liability. It is what we choose. Does this event or memory serve me to be better or does this event or memory serve me to be less than? And so I choose to look at things like, let me say something I, I don't know if I've said that often, but if I had the childhood that I dreamed of, I wouldn't be the man that I am. Yeah. Like sit on that for a moment. So the reason I say that is sometimes I believe life happens for us and not to us. Like, do I wish I would have had a different 100%, but if I have it different, I wouldn't be where I am. And I don't think we give ourselves enough credit for that. Like our past makes who we are. So that memory could be a liability or an asset. I choose to make my childhood an asset. I choose. Because I understand that if I had the childhood I dream of, I wouldn't be on this live with you, helping you through what you're going through. And I know you guys have another business and it's, it's the same thing as like, you guys, everything we do has led us to where we are and we can either choose to believe that or we can choose to use it as a liability and complain about it. And so, I, like I said, I mean, I look back at my childhood and it sucked, period. But I wouldn't be who I am if it didn't. And so therefore I'm using that memory as an asset. I'm using that moment as something that helps me and not something that hinders me. So I'm not sure if any of that helped or, 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 or made sense, but I just felt compelled because this moment is amazing. You're amazing. Um, no, it does. It does. Um, without saying too much, I'm, uh, I moved to a new place. And so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just on my way to market to some of the tell areas here. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's like rebuilding again. And, um, I don't know, just finding that confidence and that determination to keep that drive going. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like I said, I'm, pretty confident i love what i do i love yeah. being able to run my signing service to provide signings for the notaries out there you know especially for the lss community but sometimes you know you just find yourself in that like that low moment and it's yeah. more personal stuff yeah. uh gary can i find but you know i i try to find it to not have it with him too like you know because he's going through it too so it's like how do i help keep each other going through this moment so i think i think i was just being very vulnerable today so i appreciate your um, every word you said girl i appreciate i'm gonna start crying like i mean what i love about you d is you wear your emotions on your sleeve and i, and I think that's a beautiful thing i don't think enough people do that actually i try to also mimic that right because it helps people realize they're not alone and so my point of saying all that is going in into these new appointments that you're trying to read mark or market to like don't be afraid to wear your emotions on your sleeve. Like if you're nervous, it's okay to come off as nervous. If you're like, I mean, my, I think a lot of us feel like we got to put on this face when we market, when all people want is authenticity. What I love about you is you're not allowing this moment to deter you from what you got to do. And that's the sign and characteristic of a successful person because we can all create excuses, but you are creating reasons. And so even though you're down, you're still choosing to move forward. And that is the most important part of life and building a business because life is business, business is life. And to think they're any different or they're mutually exclusive is, is not being an emotionally mature business owner. And you are. So D, you know, I got you whenever you need it. Okay. So keep doing what you're doing yeah. and keep sharing with everybody. So I'm proud of you. Okay. Thank you. Thank All you, right. Mark. All right. You're welcome. Bye. Wow. That was a beautiful moment with Didi. And I hope that this helps you realize that you're not alone. Life mimics business. Business mimics life. The reason some of you get so frustrated is there's an expectation that your business have, should have zero down moments. Like that's like saying your life should have zero down moments. But we don't quit life when we have down moments, but some of you quit your business because you have down moments. If you deal with your business and your life in the same fashion, your business will grow just like your life grows. Like your life is better now than it was 10 years ago because you keep moving forward. 
So some of you guys have this expectation that, you know, you shouldn't have down moments in your business. No, if you're in business long enough, like I shared with Didi, you're gonna have down years. I've had down years. Sometimes if you've been in business long enough, you're gonna have down decades. But because you have down decades, doesn't mean you throw in the towel. Because your job is this, and hear me clearly, your job is not to turn a bad minute into a bad hour. Your job is not to turn a bad hour into a bad half a day. Your job is not to turn a bad week into a bad month. I don't have bad days. I have bad hours, but I don't have bad days. Because I choose not to have bad days. It is a decision what you do with the moment. You are so amazing, you have no idea. And it's my job to make sure you realize how amazing you are. So right now, if you have every reason to quit and you're not quitting, keep going, man. Because it's not you that needs this business to work, it's everyone around you needs this business to work. So I am so proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing and don't stop and let's go!